So this next problem is problem 2.5. It says, suppose two cars depart from a four-way intersection at the same time, one heading north and the other heading west. The car heading north travels at the steady speed of 30 feet per second, and the car heading west travels at the steady speed of 58 feet per second. It says, find an expression for the distance between the car, two cars after t seconds. Find the distance in miles between the two cars after three hours and 47 minutes. And then when are the two cars exactly one mile apart? So let's kind of draw this out. We will have one car going north and one car going west. And they're going at different uh, velocities. The one heading north is traveling at 30 feet per second. And the car traveling west is traveling at 58 feet per second. And the first question says, find an expression for the distance between the cars at t seconds. So part A, how far apart are they at t seconds? So eventually they're going to be like something more like this, right? This one's almost twice as fast. <clears throat> so at some point they'll be here and here. And we can calculate the distance between those two points by doing the square root of the change in x squared plus the change in y squared. So the change in the x coordinate is this way. So this car is going uh, 58 feet per second. So we can take 58 times t in seconds. And that would be the distance here. Or we could say negative 58t because it's like going this way. But it doesn't matter because we're going to say the distance equals the square root of negative uh, 58t squared plus and then our change in y, we're going north, so we're going in a positive direction. And again, this distance would be 30 feet per second times the time, however long, since the cars are starting and stopping at the same time. We have plus 30 t squared, and that would be the distance um, using time. So part b says... <clears throat> Part B says find the distance. Um, oh, this is interesting. I'm just going back at the answer key. It says 2.5. The distance with distance using time is 65.3 t. Hmm. That's interesting. I'm curious. So 58 squared plus 30 squared is that, and if I raise that to 0.5 power, I get 65.3 t. Okay, so I have the same thing, I just didn't simplify it all the way. Um, it should be fine. So if we go ahead and finish this up, we have negative 58 t squared plus 30 t squared, um, 58 squared is 3364 t squared plus obviously that's 900 t squared and if we add those together we get 4264 t squared and then if we square root 4264 we get 65.2993 65.299, oops, let me adjust this, sorry about that, 2.993t. So that's a formula that we can use. Part B says find the distance in miles between the two cars after 3 hours and 47 minutes. So part B gives me a time value of 3 hours, 47, oops, 47 minutes. I have a nice handy dandy formula that will give me feet if I plug in time in seconds. So I'm going to convert these three hours and 47 minutes into seconds. I know that in three hours, for each hour, there are 3,600 seconds. So I have three times 3,600. 
So 10,800 seconds, that's the three hours. And I know in 47 minutes, for each one minute, there are 60 seconds. So I have 47 times 60, 28, 20 seconds. So I'm going to add that to 10,800. So part B is asking me for how far apart are their miles for if they travel for 13,620 seconds. 13,620 seconds. I got this formula that I can use. So I can multiply that with 65.2993. But that gives me the answer in feet. So I know that the distance equals, I'll go ahead and just do 65.2993 times 13,620. The calculator said that is approximately 889376.466 feet. And I know that I can use dimensional analysis here. I can multiply those feet. So there are 5,280 feet in one mile. So I'm gonna divide that by 5,280. And I get 168, about 168.4425 miles. And then part C, when are the car two cars one mile apart? So part C wants to know when is the distance or when does this equal 5,280 feet? So when does 5,280 feet equal 65.2993 times T? Seems pretty simple. 5280 divided by 65.2993. Looks like the time should equal about 80.8584 seconds. And that's all it asks for is the time, so it doesn't tell me what units, and it does say in the answer key it's 80.86 seconds. So 450, and we're finished.